Well, this is opening up our new box from Witch's Gifts. Real classy, Mom. Yeah, I kind of didn't realize that. So, I was about is that Misty face. with you or Fog? Misty. I just say. I, I, oh, and thank this is, you. This is Bean, our new six month old puppy. You're not eating my fried chicken no matter how goddamn cute you are. As Misty's like, I'll eat your fried chicken. Yeah, you can get away with it. You'll be distracted by the dog. Bean. Bean, do not. Don't. Is he really picking the scratcher over the fried chicken? She's picking the scratcher over the fried chicken and the fabric piece. But can you not? I no longer have the use of my left hand. Oh my god, I, I managed to open one of these boxes. Oh, never mind. These boxes are packed so well, I can't even get them open half the time. And look, your familiar is here with you. you yes, he me. is. I think it's because of the fried chicken or the dog. Or both. This but he's here. This is my familiar. He likes to lay on tarot cards. Every time mom does tarot cards, he lays on the blanket right next to them and literally touches the cards. It's adorable. Oh. I don't think they're supposed to be connected. Well, maybe you should look at the directions. Yeah, no, they're not supposed to be connected. Is that a necklace? Yes, it's a... What are you wondering about? It's a, it's a tree and two oh, it's a tree of life. with the pentagon set. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's pretty. It's also on such a long chain. You know, what, no. This dog gives <laughs> lovely back support. You just got home from a waitressing oh, yes. job. Hence, take out container. Yes. Candles. Perfect, right? You I need, need a candle. so bad. We need to go to it. We yes, need to go to I know. You want to go to candle. A bubble wrap thing. Let's see what the bubble wrap thing or thing. And of course, spring is coming, so automatically my mind is like, ooh, something phallic. <laughs> ooh, there's a bunch of. Oh, let's see. Bean. Bean, I'm not letting you move. I am putting my back against this dog, and I'm not letting him. What? Oh, isn't that adorable? That is so cool. How much time do you think that took to make? Somebody spent a nice amount. That is beautiful. That's gorgeous. I don't know what any of these things are supposed to be for, but well, there's... luckily there's going to be a paper Bean, somewhere in there. Bean, can you not be where you are? Can you... Give me two seconds. Get it. Get it. There we go. There we go. There's a good bean. There's a good place for a bean. <laughs> Fancy. Fancy wrapping. Someone on some porch? I know. I don't know. We'll I'll go check in a minute. There's a cat that just got out of the cat box. Oh. Anyway. Did something fall? No, I don't know. Anyway. No. You're not going down there. Um, Ostera Spring Equinox. Deal Astrological Overview, which I sometimes read. I sometimes don't because... Well, let me read those sometimes. I will. They're all organized nicely, so. Yeah. In this month's box, a candle set. Candles are offered and used in multiple aspects of witchcraft. The color can help focus energy and intent of the ritual. Whether it be focused for meditation, sealing a spell jar, flame or wax divination, a rune or sig sigil carving, these small spell candles are the perfect size for whatever your per preferred candle craft may be. White, and it has all the color meanings, which I would read, but I don't want to. A gemstone tree. Rooted in amethyst base, this gemstone tree is your herald to spring and year-long reminder about all things green and growing will return in time. Place on your altar, the tree will bring energies of growth and grounding. Trees have been a symbol of the duality of life, connected both to earth and sky, as above, so below, as within, so without. Try it's focusing kind of, on these dual energies in a meditation this month as we transition from long winter. It kind of looks like different winter. colored quartzes, like white and purple quartz. Is that what's going on there? Amethyst. Yeah. 
So amethyst is calming. And it looks and, like quartz on top. So purity and calming. Mm-hmm. A resurrection plant. Um, its functions are the exact same as the Middle Eastern counterpart, but readily available and considered prettier. Because of the ability to seemingly resurrect itself, they play a role in several religions. Neat. So what are they? I don't know. It doesn't really... Okay. In Wicca and other varieties of witchcraft, resurrection plants are often used in new moon and full moon rituals, as well as during solstices. Placing the plant in water the night before the peak of the moon phase and placing a gemstone trinket or slip of paper in the center of the plant and leaving it there until night after the peak when the plant is removed from the water, allowing it to curl up around the item as it dries, holding that intention and energy till the next resurrection. How cool. Resurrection plant care. The good news is it's hard to truly kill a resurrection plant. You can let it dry out completely and it'll be good as new when you put it in water again. If you ever had issues with mindful plant watering, then this is the plant for you. <laughs> the only thing you don't want to do is leave it in the water too long as it can cause it to rot. The trick is to let it rest between waterings instead of leaving it in water indefinitely. Allow it to dry out and refresh between periods of water, which will keep the plant alive longer. They're long-lived and passed down generations and families. How awesome. When you receive your plant, it will look like a brown, dried-up ball of moss. Mm-hmm. Yes. Which is basically what it is. It does have roots, but they don't need to attach, so you don't need soil. To plant, find a small bowl or pot without drainage, drainage holes. First time you've heard that, right? With pebbles or gravel, and fill it with water until the pebbles are just barely submerged. Perch your resurrection plant on top so the roots touch the water. Place an indirect light, like a countertop in a sunny kitchen. And watch it the magic happen. Use distilled water or let tap water sit out overnight for the chlorine and any other chemicals to evaporate before putting in your plate. Kind of like Change fish. water every day and give it water-free rest day each week. Every couple of weeks, let the plant dry out completely. If you'd like, you can put it in soil after it's been watered in a while and start to form roots. You may not want to put it in soil because it will grow really big roots. Don't let it to get too hot or cold. Room temperatures are fine, but watch for vet drafts. It's native to deserts, so it can be sen sensitive to extreme fluctuations in temperature. It will thrive in light, but if it curls up in low light. Or, if you, or you can always put it away in the closet for safekeeping, and you can always revive it. Resurrection plant doesn't need pruning, but you can use clean scissors to rem remove dead tips that don't revive when the plant's fully hydrated to keep it nice and pretty. If placed in lukewarm water, your resurrection plant should open in about four hours, although it might not open until its full capacity for a few days. It may be toxic to cats. Don't feed it to things. As <laughs> Misty makes a move for it. <laughs> and thank you, note, and done. Cool. It said nothing about the necklace. 